Hello everyone and welcome to Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at Fry's Electronics. Now this store is located in Tempe, Arizona. And as you can see from this shot here, it is a very, very large store. This is probably the biggest electronics store I've ever seen. Fry's Electronics was founded in 1985 and they opened their first store in Sunnyvale, California. As of today, they operate 34 stores throughout the United States. This particular location opened in 1997, but the history of this location actually goes back a little bit further than that, but we'll get back to that in a minute. Fry's Electronics carries a wide variety of products from television and stereo equipment to car audio equipment, PCs and laptops, even computer parts if you want to build your own computer. They carry major appliances and they even carry electronics components, you know, the kind of things that hobbyists used to buy at Radio Shack. Each of their stores usually have a unique theme. For example, this store is all golf themed because I guess that's what's synonymous with Arizona is golf. And there's also some major golf courses around the area, but they have other stores that are themed like Aztec temples. There's one that's themed like a giant spaceship, which I find to be pretty interesting. Although I'm not a huge fan of the uh, golf decor here. Now I mentioned earlier in the video that this store opened in 1997 as Fry's Electronics. But before that, it was actually a store called Incredible Universe. And surprisingly, I was able to get permission to use some footage of this exact store in 1994 when it was an Incredible Universe store. So this is the same exact location back in 1994 when it was an Incredible Universe store. And these stores really were an Incredible Universe. As you can see, it was a very exciting place to shop with neon signage all over the place. And again, a very huge selection of products. I remember when this particular location opened in the early 90s and it was a major event. They had live musical performances, they had some of the first consumer VR equipment that you could try out, they had a McDonald's as you can see there. It really, really was an exciting place to shop. But now it's this, it's all golf themed and something else you may notice is there's not a lot of customers walking around and that's actually one of the reasons why I wanted to take a look at Fry's Electronics. They are a privately held company, so there's not any information really out there about earnings and things like that. It's all kept pretty hush-hush, but I have heard from current and former employees that their stores are starting to struggle. And as you can see here, a lot of the shelves look kind of barren of products, and a lot of the products that are on the shelves are dusty and old. It's probably been around 10 years since the last time I was in this store. And I think the last time I was here was to actually purchase some PC components to build a new computer. But I have to say, I was really shocked to see it like this. The last time I was here, it was still a very busy store. But you can see here, there's even more empty shelves. Now, Incredible Universe was founded in 1992, and they had 17 stores, but only six of them were consistently profitable. So when the chain went out of business in 1997, those were the six stores that Fry's Electronics purchased from them. And this was one of those stores. Now, here we are back in 1994, and I love seeing this stuff like that Shaq Fu advertisement, and you've got all the old demo units here. They, they really were fantastic stores. It's a shame that the Incredible Universe store model didn't work out because you can see here, there's, there's a lot of customer shopping. It's a big difference between what you see in the Fry's Electronics now. Man, look at all that neon. Hey, dude. <laughs> You also see too that there's not an empty shelf in the place. Everything's got some sort of product on it for sale. I really have to thank Kathy M who was the former employee for letting me use this footage. And there's actually a lot more than what I'm showing here in my video. I'll, I'll put a link to the uh, full video down in the description below. Incredible Universe was a joint venture between the Tandy Corporation and Transworld Entertainment. And if Transworld Entertainment sounds familiar, I actually covered another one of their chains, FYE, in a previous video. Here we are back to present day, and here's some of the electronic components that they carry. This is stuff that, like I said, you used to be able to purchase in Radio Shack. And they also have things like this Raspberry Pi retro gaming kit, which is pretty interesting. I didn't know that they had kits like this, you know, with everything all together. Here we can see more of the golf theming and really just a lack of customers. I filmed this footage on a Saturday afternoon and 
just completely shocked to see this because the prices and stuff on, on things weren't bad. I think just maybe the store is too big for its own good now. This is a whole section devoted to like those shiatsu massagers and stuff. I don't remember seeing sections like that back when I used to shop here for computer components. Also, I gotta say, I am, like I mentioned earlier, not a huge fan of the golf theming in this place. The, the last time I was here, there wasn't any theming. It just kind of seemed like a big warehouse store like Costco, but with electronics and stuff. So I'm not sure exactly when they did this golf theming, but it doesn't seem like it's doing the store any favors. I really do miss the neon lights and glitz of Incredible Universe. I was also surprised to see that they're running Windows XP on a lot of their computers on the sales floor. That doesn't seem very secure. Something I noticed too is there were a lot of employees on the floor, which is a good thing, but it seemed like they were running around trying to keep themselves busy but having a hard time doing it. Now you see up there, this this building does have a second floor, and back when it was Incredible Universe, they used those areas for offices and for demo rooms, for product demonstrations. I'm not sure what they use them for now, though. This also struck me as weird, too. These discount fragrances for sale. That's that's also something I don't remember for Ice Electronics carrying. I do remember that big Jumbotron, though. I believe that's from Incredible Universe, but it doesn't look like it works anymore. And once again, we're back in 1994, and this is a shot from that balcony we were looking at down into the store, and you can get an idea of just how busy the place was. And they really had it packed wall to wall with product. <laughs> Look at all that old electronics equipment, that's awesome. This family checking out the recliners cracks me up too. Now this is where that McDonald's was, now it's just a generic snack bar, and right near there I kind of was surprised to see these magazines. They have the Playboys and Penthouses right there out front. Normally stores stick those in the back of the rack, but 13 year old me would have loved this if it was like that in Incredible Universe. I mentioned earlier old and dusty product on the shelf. Here's a CB radio accessory area, and it looks like this CB radio antenna is about 10 years old. I don't even know anybody that uses CB radio anymore. It really is a bummer to see this store like this because as a kid, it was always really exciting to make a trip to Incredible Universe, and as a young adult, it was always really exciting to make a trip to Fry's Electronics. Like I said, I couldn't find any official reports of Fry's Electronics struggling, but Based upon my observations here and rumors I've heard from current and former employees, it sounds like they are. As always everyone, thanks for watching. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey, thanks for checking out my video on Fry's Electronics and Incredible Universe. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons, and also make sure to follow at the social media links down there because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel.